What is going on guys? Today we have got another team of the season review for you. It is going to be Quagliarella. He is incredible. I really, really do rate this striker and for the price that you're paying for him, he is absolutely fantastic. You're looking and it's coming in on footbin at this moment in time, which is half eight on a Sunday night. Um, it is coming in at, once it's loaded, 42k on the Xbox. Th that's insane. He's 106 on the PlayStation. That may be a refresh is issue. So just take that with a pinch of salt because if the Xbox is that low, I can imagine PlayStation sometimes is as well. Um, but 42k, that's what we're going off for the Xbox. That's incredible. For a 96 rated player, you can get a, a quag for 42k. It's just, it's, it's insane. The market crash for all these team of the seasons is phenomenal. He's got three informs, two uh, normal cards, one winter upgrade into an 82. Um, it's 85, 87, 88, 40 informs. And then obviously he has managed to bag himself a very, very nice 96 rated team of the season. And in general, his card is really nice. Personally, for my preference of my team, I like him as a super sub more than anything. Um, I tried him as a starter. I felt like he had more of an impact coming on as a super sub when, say, players have lost a little bit more stamina. I think then he definitely shines a lot more than starting for me. As, obviously, a lot of people have got God Squads. You've got the Van Dykes. And I think, for me, Quag just doesn't really match up to someone of Van Dyke's statue. Um, or same as Ramos um, or Varane. Even though Varane I haven't really seen nowadays. Um, he just kind of wiped himself off FIFA, really. Really. Um, I don't know why his team of the year for me was incredible, um, but that's not the review. He's a four-star skiller, four-star weak foot. He's five foot eleven with a right foot, and he does have a medium-medium work balance. So the the weak foot and the skill moves is fantastic. He's not quite, he's not short, so we can quite deal with that. And the medium-medium. It's not ideal, um, but again, I think we've we've seen it throughout FIFA. It really doesn't have too much of an impact going into the the really strategic parts of this game. He's 89 pace with 92 acceleration. Um, that could do with some work if you really wanted to max it out or you could probably skate by on that, to be honest. He's got 97 shooting, which is 95 positioning, 93 finishing, 99 shot power, and also 99 long shots. Um, looking at his dribbling, 96 composure, which is a fantastic one. 92 balance with 87 agility is nice. Um, and he's also got 99 reactions, ball control, and 98 strength, which for such a small player is really nice to have that extra layer of of just toughness from him. It really does show in the game. He does hold on to the ball quite well. And that's something that a lot of players don't really have. I think the Meta, the Pogba's, the Hullets, the Vieiras do it exceptionally. But seeing a 5 foot 11 player do it compared to the 6 4s, the 6 5s, I'm really, really happy with his card in that role. Um, chemistry style wise, I'd probably be looking at maybe like a Hawk. Gets the physical up a little bit more. Gets it to the 99 strength, the 99 jumping, and also the 67 aggression. Gets the pace up a little bit more to the 93 overall, but mainly gets that finishing up to, or the shooting up at least, to the 99. It gets the uh, positioning up to 99, and then the 98 finishing, which I think is definitely needed in this card. Just to, to max it out, make sure that you're obviously going above and beyond with it. Um, I think that is something that we definitely need to see on this card. So I know I've run over and you can see the the overall kind of view, but we're getting into that now. 8.5 I've given him, 10 out of 10 value of coins. Super sub in my preference, it's 55k, which obviously it's dropped another 10k since doing that. Um, and that was only yesterday, so that's incredible. Pros, pace, dribbling, shot, and stamina as the con, uh, mainly because it's not necessarily a massive issue, but compared to everyone else, and that is why I like him as a super sub, compared to obviously a lot of the team of the seasons, a lot of the meta cards, they all have practically 90 plus stamina, whereas Quag obviously doesn't. And I think that's why people would choose someone else over this card for my preference. 8.5 is not taking anything away from it. It's just the fact there's so many strikers, Lacazette, Son, uh, Aubameyang, Ronaldo, Mbappe. You literally, I can list them off straight off the top of my head, the real meta, the real uh, in, uh, pricey cards. Whereas, obviously, this one's got to have some sort of 
some sort of hold back because if you get in the Ronaldo's and the Messi's and all of that, then why not just get this card if he's just as good? So obviously that overall reflects the the sheer amount of strikers and where I'd put him personally in that pool of strikers. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. We're going to be smashing more team of the seasons out as obviously the prices are incredible. Virgil van Dijk, if it's not out before this video, is definitely coming out. I've put him into the squad, so he is going to be incredible as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you do and smash the like button as well as the bell button as well just to get notified whenever I do a video and apart from that hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you all for the next one peace